Okay, in our last lesson we talked about inductive reasoning. In this lesson we're going to talk about deductive reasoning. With deductive reasoning you go from general statements to specific statements. So instead of saying, um, if I pull out 10 pieces of candy in a row and they're all red, maybe everything's red, which would be kind of an inductive, uh, inductive thought process, to everything in this bag is red, I know it is, so if I pull something out, it will be red. So I go from the general statement of everything's red to the specific statement of if I pull out one thing, it will be red. Now when we're dealing with deductive reasoning, there's a couple of things we're going to work on. We're going to talk about some specific rules, and I'm going to use some specific notation, uh, such as a little arrow like this. This kind of notation specifies that A leads to B. So if this, then this. A leads to B. Um, the other thing we're going to take we're going to see is this little symbol right here, this uh, grave. Some people call this a grave. Others call it a tilde. Um, this symbol means not. So uh, it might look like this. We might say uh, not A leads to not B. Yeah. So if A leads to B, then not A leads to not B. And that may or may not be true, but we're going to talk about what those rules are. So let's jump right in here. Um, the first rule we're going to talk about is the law of detachment. The law of detachment says that if A leads to B um, is true and A is true, then B is also true. So for a specific example, let's take a look here. This uh, statement, if a student is in a math class, he or she uses a pencil. So here's an example of an if A then B statement. The A part is right here. If a student is in a math class, that's the A part, then he or she uses a pencil. The he or she uses a pencil is the B part, right? So what the rule says is that if this statement itself is true, if the statement that if a student is in a math class, he or she uses a pencil is true, then assuming A is true, B would also be true. So then we could use this information and the law of detachment to say something like if Brian is in the math class, then he uses a pencil. Yeah, so if Brian is in the math class, so that's the A part of the statement, yeah, then he uses a pencil, that's the B part of the statement. So the law of detachment says that we can use the um, the the knowledge that A leading to B is true to say that if we know something qualifies as part of A, it must also qualify as part of B. Yeah, so there's the law of detachment. Now let's take a look at another one. Next law we're going to deal with is the law of contrapositive. And here's where we get into that using that grave or that uh, tilde, the not symbol. If, oops, sorry. If um, A leading to B is true and not B is true, then not A must also be true. So the law of contrapositive says that assuming this statement is true, if a student is in math class, he or she uses a pencil, then if we know that Brian is not using a pencil, not using a pencil, then he is not in math class. Yeah, so now we have the B part first, and we know that it's not B. He or she is not using a pencil. Then he or she is not in the math class. So if B is not true, then, or if not B is true, then not A is also true. All right, now let's take a look at the last one, the law of syllogism. The law of syllogism says that if A leading to B is true, and B leading to C is true, then A leading to C is also true. So here we have A, it's up here on top still, if a student is in a math class, then he or she uses a pencil, so there's the B, he or she uses a pencil, then we have B again, 
if he or she is using a pencil, then he or she will need an eraser. So now we have a new statement brought in, C, he or she is using an eraser. Now according to the law of syllogism, we can say that assuming these two statements are true, then if a student is in the math class, statement A, then he or she will need an eraser, statement C. So we can go straight from A to C if we know both of these statements are true. We can just sort of skip statement B and know that A leads directly to C also. There you go.